said up just last week, Senator Udall said that ISIL doesn't even pose a threat to the homeland, even though he receives briefings every day. He said they are not a threat Hi. to the homeland. they will be a threat to this country. And I tell you how we respond. We don't respond by taking politics past the water's edge. We stand together, because I can tell you ISIL, just like Al-Qaeda and the other groups that have us on their list, they don't care whether you're a Democrat, they don't care whether you're a Republican, they don't care whether you're from the East Coast or you're from all that. They're coming for all of us. We need to stand together to face this threat. We are pushing back ISIL right now as we sit here with airstrikes and with special forces in Iraq. We are in the process of putting together a strategy that takes into account the complexities that are a result of all these civil wars in the Middle East. And I can tell you it's time for the Arab nations and the moderate Sunnis to stand up and rub out this threat that's in their midst. They too long have been playing both arsonist and fireman type roles. When we stand together, we're gonna get our man. And I can tell you, Steve Sobloff and James Foley would tell us, don't be impulsive. Horrible and barbarous as those executions were, don't be impulsive. Come up with a plan and go knock ISIL back. Great.